Hello, this is Allie with The Perception Trainers, author of The Perception Diet, and today we have episode 40 of Real Talk for Lightworkers. So that's pretty amazing. Um, yes, I'm very excited to bring this video to you today, but I want to preface it with this, okay? What I'm going to be talking about today is a little bit advanced material, okay? Meaning, it might be triggering for some people if you're not totally at a place where this is appropriate information for you on your path for where you're at right now. So if at any point you're finding what I'm saying to be very painful or very triggering or very, you really just don't want to hear it, right? Like, you know the difference between, oh, okay, this is just something I need to hear, even though it's not exactly what I wanted to believe, like it's kind of busting my paradigm, but I'm ready for it, versus this just makes me feel horrible and I don't want to watch it. So if it's the second category, if it's the just, it just makes me feel horrible, I can't, I cannot accept what she's saying, all I want to do is tell her how wrong she is, that's fine, just turn it off come back to this in six months or a year okay so that's all I want to say to preface this video because I am I am gonna say some things that if you're not in a place where this information is relevant for you right now it's just gonna hurt okay so what we're gonna be talking about today is wounds and traumas and triggers and what the point of these things are okay and the reason that I want to talk about this in these very plain and basic terms is, be, is for anyone who's at a point in their journey when they're really ready to integrate their traumas and stop suffering, okay? So this is the first thing that I really want to put out there that I think might be triggering or trauma typesing for people who are in a certain place, which is to say that if your spiritual practices and your spiritual teachings and your everything that you're doing with your with your eating with your mindset with your work with your relationships with your money all of these things if your spiritual practices and your awarenesses and your meditations and the people that you're listening to and all of these things are not leading you to a place where you are creating more order, complexity, and structure in your life, meaning you are getting rid of, okay, so no, I know we don't love that word, that sentence, getting rid of, but that's what it's gonna look like to the outside, okay? Getting rid of chaos and drama in your life. It's not working, okay? And this is a big deal when we really look at a lot of the spiritual practices that are being taught right now, which are all around this idea of kind of learning how to be happy anywhere, learning how to accept what is and to just be in it forever, learning how to embrace your emotions and be with them just for the sake of that, right? This idea, and we even look and we see our spiritual teachers, we see our spiritual guides having lives where they're still suffering quite a bit, right? They still feel that life is really hard and life is really traumatizing and it's almost worse for them because they're spiritual people. All of this is not truth, okay? When we are truly doing the work, life should not be becoming harder. It should not be becoming more chaotic. We should not be having a harder time living in the world as we wake up. It's either <laughs> having the same amount of hard time but for different reasons and then eventually we need to start to get to a place where we are becoming so masterful and we are becoming so different and we are aligning ourselves with reality so much even though the rest of the world isn't doing it that our lives are becoming more peaceful more joyful, more creative. We're cleaning up our messes that we made when we were working from trauma. We are, we are becoming less codependent. We are becoming less chaotic, less confused, less self-sabotaging. We are creating order in our lives. So this is why I'm saying this is an advanced video because we're not all at that place where this is appropriate, okay? 
but I do want to say that for us to have the expectation that we're going to go on an awakening journey and come out the other side awake, but our lives are still a mess or we're still suffering or we're still having the same kind of issues that we've been having all along, that's not real. That's not true. That means the work didn't happen. Okay. So the reason for this is because of what we're going to talk about today which is what a, tra a trigger, a trauma, and a wound actually are and what a spiritual journey is meant to be when you're really on the path, all right? So we can define a wound very, very simply, all right? So when we're talking about a trauma, we, have these, we all have these emotional, mental, spiritual, physical traumas, yes? The things that are, we believe to be are causing us pain, our, the things that are causing us to self-destruct, the things that are causing us to be codependent, the things that are causing us our anxiety, the things that are causing us our depression, the things that are causing us all of these things that we do, all of our addictions, all of our numbing behavior, everything, this, 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 right? Those are all the symptoms of a wound, a wound that we carry. And most of us are pretty familiar with this at this point. We all are pretty well-versed in the spiritual jargon, right? That we all have these inner child wounds, we all have these inner child um, stagnancies, these things that we are hurt. Okay, all a wound is, is a place within your being where your version of reality, so how you feel the reality or how you feel yourself is, is different from how the reality actually is. That's what a wound is. The wound that everybody has, the wounds that everybody has, are simply the points in their being where there is a separation from actual reality and your version of reality. That is what a wound is. All right? The reason that a wound turns into a trauma is because so long as we are living out of alignment with how reality actually functions, we are in a death cycle, all right? Now, a death cycle is not a superstition. A death cycle is not something that's just taking you down and there's nothing you can do about it. A death cycle is not something where, that we have to end and get rid of and, oh my God, we're in a death cycle, blah, blah, blah. where's the death in me, <laughs> right? So a death cycle, Again, is any part of you that is in delusion. So does not see reality for how reality actually is, sees reality for something that reality is not, therefore is lacking in formation. Yes, we totally understand that. A wound is the separation point in our consciousness from how reality actually functions and what we are perceiving to be reality. The trauma is the death cycle where this perception that we have cuts us off from information of how the reality actually works. So we now have less information than is required to fully understand reality and therefore that aspect of self is not being fed the amount of life force energy it needs to evolve and expand and therefore it is dying because we know that. Everything in reality, in this reality, that is not evolving, is dying. Evolution requires the addition of information, the addition of energy, the addition of knowledge, the addition of awareness. Yes, that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? In order for something to evolve, it has to become more complex. In order for something to become more complex, it needs more information, more energy, more matter, more structure, more complexity. Yes? So, any aspect of self, any aspect of your consciousness that believes that reality is this way, when reality is actually this way, is operating as though reality is less complex than it actually is. It is cut off from the evolution cycle where more and more information is going to be added to that aspect of self 
so that evo so that your awareness of reality expands and instead it is contracting this is why we watch people get worse as they age as they are dying they seem to get more racist and more closed-minded and more all of these things they decline they're in a death cycle yes they're not growing and learning and becoming new and that's why they always say you know in order for old people to maintain themselves they should be learning something new all the time this is why that works because it literally gets you on a life cycle it's feeding you more energy more life force that which is required to live so this is the thing in order to be on a life cycle and not on a death cycle you don't have to know everything about reality that is not the game okay it is simply that you are allowing more information than you currently have to be added to you that's all that it requires you can have a hundred million different places where you're blocking reality and you're out of alignment with it and you have no idea what it is but so long as you're moving in the direction of becoming more aware of how reality actually functions and then switching yourself so that you live in alignment with reality you're on a life cycle okay so that's why I said don't turn this death cycle into a superstition in that until I'm completely aware of the universe I'm dying no that's not how it works all that's required for evolution is the movement towards more complexity more information yes so a wound is where you believe the reality functions in a way that it doesn't a trauma is essentially you breaking yourself against reality so just like the the saying we can't break the laws of nature we can only break ourselves against them that's someone else's quote i don't remember who said it but it's not mine um, it is the, that is the quote for reality we cannot change reality in the sense of we cannot create our own reality and thrive within it we can only thrive when we are living in alignment with actual reality anything we are doing that's out of alignment with actual reality is something we're allowed to do so this is the thing we are allowed to have create whatever we want here we can create anything we want we can create completely out of alignment with the laws of nature we can create completely out of alignment with the laws of reality however when we do that we are going to die we're going to watch ourselves degrade we are not going to evolve that's all that that is okay so this is this is what we need to understand okay all of us believe things about the reality and believe things about ourselves that are not true yes we all have that unless you are in a state where you have no suffering you have no trauma you have no drama you are completely in a state of of creativity and expansion you have wounds you have parts of you that are seeing the reality in a way that it isn't and when we like i say when we live like that okay we're squashing parts of our personality that are part of our us living our purpose and therefore we're not living our purpose and we're self-sabotaging because we have this internal idea that there's something wrong with us there's something bad about us there's something we need to fix about us and that causes us to self-sabotage because that's what self-sabotage is yes it is us trying to destroy ourselves because we have this perception that we're wrong yeah that's not true in reality you are exactly how you're supposed to be but you have a concept of yourself that is out of alignment with the truth and it causes destruction when you have a concept of how reality functions this is how i should be able to make money and then you go out and try and do that it doesn't make you money you're on a death cycle you're not thriving you're not getting what you need in order to survive and in order to create and in order to to go on and on and on you're not having what you need you're in a death cycle yes you think it should work this way it doesn't work that way you keep acting like that you're not going to get what you need that's how that works so when we are believing something about the reality that isn't true we are going to be suffering because again the whole point of the earth experience is to get lost in delusion okay so these wounds from your childhood where your parents rejected you where your friends rejected you where you rejected yourself where you believed things about the reality that are not true and are now causing you pain that was all correct so this is the big message of this video 
okay? Your wounds and the subsequent traumas are not wrong. They are not signs that life went wrong. They are signs that life went right. That is the first phase of life, is to get lost in delusion. And this life game of truly learning what we know as souls physically, so that's what we're doing here. We're taking all the knowledge we have and we're living it out, yes? Without the contrast of living in a lie, you would not know the truth. That is the whole point of free will, okay? That is what makes being on earth one of the most advanced schools in the universe, is because we are capable of creating outside of truth. We are capable of living in alignment with something that isn't life. And that shows us very clearly what it's like when you're out of alignment with reality and when you're in alignment with reality. So all of your traumas, all of your wounds are right. Everything you've been through is exactly what you need in order to wake up to reality. All right? So a wound is where you have broken away from what reality actually is. A trauma is you living in alignment with the wound rather than reality. So the pain we experience in our lives, the emotional pain, the mental pain, the self-sabotage, the addictions, the co codependencies, all of these sufferings that we go through as humans are simply the, the plumb line. They're the, uh, they're the safety net for allowing you to actually find truth. Because like I said, truth and, and non-truth are going to look the same to us because we're supposed to buy the delusion. If you didn't fully buy truth as, I mean, if you didn't fully buy the delusion as truth, this wouldn't work. So we have to be completely convinced of our false beliefs. And then we have to be able to work through them to the truth in order to know the truth. And the only way for that to work is if we fully can believe what we believe, but we have some sort of guidance system that lets us know when we're truly in truth and when we're in a lie. And that's what our emotions are. That's what our feelings are. When something is painful and something is causing you to suffer, that's the safety net where you were able to fully believe the lie, but now that you're aware of the suffering, now that you're aware of the, the trauma, that's your guidance system saying, okay, good, we're ready to learn what the actual reality is and transcend. So this is why we will never clear anyone's energy. We will never get rid of a trigger in somebody. We can't do that in ourselves either. So long as we're Trump triggered in life, okay? We are triggered by life when we are living our version of life, assuming our version is correct, and having reality be something different. That's what a trigger is. When we feel that pain of what I expected to happen, who I expected to be, the results I expected to get did not occur. This should not have happened. This should have happened. That's your sign that you don't know what reality is. And to end that suffering, you are going to have to figure out what reality actually is and shift yourself to it. Okay? So this is why clearing isn't a thing. We can absolutely have sessions with people and talk to people and have these revelations where you see how you were living out of alignment with reality. You see, oh my gosh, that's what I was believing. This is the reality. That's great. That's the first step. But in order to get rid of trauma and suffering, you then have to change your behavior, your way of living to align with how reality is. And we're going to talk about that in the next video. But that's just what I want to talk about in this video, okay? All of your wounds and all of your trauma were supposed to happen. That's how you're going to know what reality is. If you hadn't gone so far away from what true reality actually is, you would never know what reality actually is. So all of your wounds and all of your trauma are exactly what they're supposed to be. Everything that you've been through, everything that's wounded you, everything that's traumatized you has been exactly perfect. It's exactly what you needed. All right? And we're going to talk about what to do with it in the next video, so stay tuned for that. But really this time, there were no mistakes. Your wounds and traumas are not wrong. 
okay? Like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. We'll see you in the next video.